Dozens of people protested, some of them even arrested, after demonstrations turned violent in a suburb of Minneapolis. It all has to do with the police shooting of Dante Wright during a traffic stop. He, of course, died. CBS's Omar Villafranca reports how the victim's family is asking why he had to die while also making a plea to the protesters. I miss him so much already. At a vigil for her son, Dante Wright's mother remembered him as a funny and playful father. My heart is literally broken into a thousand pieces. And I can never get that back because of a mistake, because of an accident. As darkness fell on Brooklyn Center, clashes between protesters and police continued outside their headquarters. You are in violation of the curfew. The unrest followed the release of body cam video showing the moments leading up to Wright's death. After pulling Wright over for an expired registration tag, officers learned he had an outstanding warrant stemming from two misdemeanor charges. When the officers tried to handcuff Wright, he struggled to get back in his car. That's Officer Kim Potter yelling, she will tase Wright. But instead, she's holding her gun, which she then fires. From what I viewed and the officer's reaction and distress immediately after, that this was an accidental discharge that resulted in the tragic death of Mr. Wright. Officer Potter has been put on administrative leave, but some people are calling for her badge, including Mayor Mike Elliott. You know, in any other line of work, if you uh, kill someone uh, in any other line of work, uh, you are at the very least going to lose your job. We're going through uh, the due diligence to, to see to it that we can uh, make the right determination. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, and this is leading to questions about officers mistakenly firing a gun. Just how frequently does it happen? According to an article published in the Monthly Law Journal of Americans for Effective Law Enforcement, from 2001 to 2012, nine cases were documented where officers shot, shot suspects with handguns when they meant to fire a stun gun. They say it happens because of an officer training, the way they carry their weapon, and the pressure of the situation.